Quaint's next training session in the Accounts Receivable Job function, Customer Statements. This topic is at the core of the AR role, so stay with us as we explore customer statements within SAP Business One. If you recall, one of our last topics was reviewing the business partner aging reports, specific to customers and accounts receivable. Let's navigate to Business Partners, Business Partner Reports, Aging, Customer Receivables Aging. Let's run the report for all customers to understand our total outstanding receivables. When I collapse the report, I can see that I have 10 customers with outstanding balances. I want to send out my monthly customer statements to help our customers keep track of what is owed and to serve as a reminder to our customers that they have not yet paid us. Before we begin, Let's review some of the standard print layout options for customer statements in SAP. The first option is the Receivables Aging Summary Report. By choosing the default layout, we can see a high level summary of the customer aging that is most likely used for the internal reporting purposes. The second option is the Detailed Receivables Aging Report. Again, choosing the default layout, we now have a very detailed customer aging report that is grouped by customer, which is still most likely to be used internally. The next option is the Customer Statement Report. This is the most commonly used version of the report for sending statements to the customers. The fourth and final option of the customer statement report This report acts similarly to the third option, the normal customer statement report, but breaks the file into multiple reports or files based on the number of customers in the report. This would be beneficial to use if saving the reports to PDF to potentially use and send to customers externally from SAP Business One. Now that we've discussed the print layout options, let's begin working with the customer statements. To start, I want to manually print and mail out the customer statements to all of my customers that owe money. To do so, simply click the printer icon in the SAP toolbar. In this case, the customer statement report will suffice. In the same way, if you simply wanted to export the customer statements to PDF, you could click on the PDF icon in the SAP toolbar. It is also part of my company's policy to email customer statements to accounts with a balance due for $1 million. In order to only email the statements to these customers in the report, I can hold down my control key and click on the customer rows that fit this criteria. In the same manner, I could also double click on the balance due column to sort the report results by this column. I can then click the first row over $1 million and hold down my shift key and click on the last row over $1 million to select all rows in that range. Once I have my accounts over $1 million selected, I am ready to email. If you have the SBO mailer set up in SAP Business One, simply click on the email icon in the SAP toolbar. 
During this time, SAP will generate all of the PDFs required for emailing. SAP will give you the option to use an email group. We will discuss this topic during another training session, but just know that we have seen many clients benefit from using an email group for customer statements. In this case, I will elect to use the email group for accountants. When the email window opens, you will see that there is a line for each customer that is to receive a statement and a different PDF attachment for each email. In the case of customer C4000, there are two rows as there are two contacts at that customer that are within the accountant's email group. They will both receive a copy of the same customer statement. The window automatically retrieves the contacts and email addresses for the send. The email subject and body are derived from the print preferences for the aging report found within the administration module in SAP and can be altered to fit your business needs. Simply review the data and click send. How simple is that? On a customer by customer basis, remember that customer accounts reside within the business partner module in SAP Business One. If you navigate to a given customer and have the proper permissions, of course, you can view the customer's open account balance at any given time. Use the golden drill down arrow to view the transactions and details that make up the open balance. From here, you can choose to print an account balance for the customer or you can choose to run a single aging report for the customer alone by clicking the button in the bottom right corner of the account balance window. You can see that the customer code will be pre-populated in the selection criteria window. Click OK to run the report. From here, you can print or email the statement to the customer as we have reviewed in detail before. We appreciate your time and attention and we'll see you soon for the next training session.